Welcome to the Go Giggy YouTube channel. For those of you that aren't familiar with the channel, the way it operates, I use the Bible to inspire me and others. As we go about our daily walk, as we go and gig it, I work as a 1099 for apps, Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Roadie, and I have a company called Tonquin, an app, delivery app for auto parts in my portfolio. I will add a couple more eventually to have a successful portfolio so I can stay busy. 12, 16 hours a day, I'm allowed to work in a 24 hour period if I choose to work that many hours. But anyway, these apps are very valuable and I hope you can find value in them. Yes, many schemes have gone on with these different apps like Uber, Lyft, and sued for millions of dollars for stealing tips, stealing, doing this. There's fraud on these apps, whether it's the passenger, whether it's the driver whether it's the customer, maybe even the merchants. I don't know. But I pray that God will deliver you from any fraudulent negative thing that happens on these apps. And even if you're caught up in a fraudulent scheme, that you will be able to be compensated fairly and justly from being wrongfully deactivated, wrongfully accused, wrongfully uh, paid or underpaid whatever the situation is, that you'll be able to get your account back if you choose to work with these companies. I want to leave a scripture text with you today because, like I say, there are many things that are going on in the world. This scripture text, I want to leave, and I may add a video here. It is Proverbs 23, verse 4. It says, labor not to be rich, cease from your own wisdom. Many people, I believe, are being caught up in schemes and scams because they're, maybe they don't know this particular Bible text. Maybe they are have another life motto, some book that's leading them, some person that's leading them, some group or organization that is leading them in their decisions. Maybe they're not able to think for themselves. Maybe, maybe, maybe. They have a college degree that teaches how to scam people, how to be fraudulent, how to misuse and abuse people, how to misprice things, how to use what they called uh, supply and de demand elasticity. Many things that people that have college degrees have come up with, many ideas on how to scam people. Yes, not everybody in the world is dishonest, but there are a lot of dishonest people in business. Yes, there are successful business models that are honest and true. People, maybe they're Christian-based. Maybe there are some other faith or belief system. Maybe they base their business on integrity and honesty. But the apps that I deal with, Uber and Lyft, unfortunately, even some things that go on in the United States of America where I live. Many companies, many people have a different mindset that is geared towards what can I do to be profitable? What can I do to make sure me and mine are taken care of and you and yours are not? You and yours will continue to take care of me and mine. Seems to be the motto with Uber. I know many things are going on with Dara. I know Uber is with the World Economic Forum. And the more and more, in light of Bible prophecy and what the Bible has to say about various situations going on in the world that are going on in the future, that have gone on in the past, the Bible is the truest book that you can ever read. I don't know what other faiths or what other books, some people, I have been blessed to not be forced to have Greek mythology as a requirement for me to graduate from high school, graduate from college, graduate from this, middle school, elementary, or whatever. It has not been mandatory for me to study Greek mythology. Although I know some things about Greek mythology, and I know Greek mythology exactly. It's a lie. It's a myth. So they use myths to try to prove a point. Jesus Christ can be proved in many ways. Many people around the world have encountered Jesus Christ. They know about him. Many people write about him. Some people say he's false. Some people say he's not. But you have history. You have many different books, different religious cultures that have written about him. 
He is true. He did come to earth, came down from heaven. He lived as a man. He overcame and was victorious. I pray that God will bless you to understand. That's why I bring this text. Labor not to be rich because many people want to be rich. Why do they want to be rich? Yes, it's not a sin to be rich. Nothing wrong with being rich. The thing about being rich, it's many people, they hurt other people. I create an environment, I put in play moves where their company will eventually hurt someone. It may not be right now at this moment. It may not be in the next moment, but eventually they put things in play that will hurt and affect other people where they use and abuse other people just for the sake of profits. Just like Uber and Lyft. Dara, yes, he's on track to get a $50 million bonus package, stock options, that total $50 million if he can keep Uber shares consistently above 60 60 dollars per share for the next what 60 days between now and september he has to keep 90 days the stock prices up so what is he going to do he's already created things in the past to get the ball rolling that's what people do they think and they plot and they scheme okay i have this date i must meet this requirement so my team come around what can we do to make sure that I win because if I win you win this is the deal let's broker this deal let's broker this let's get our money out if I win you win we all win what goes on behind the scenes behind the curtains of businesses that we work for whether you're 1099 or w2 we don't know what the higher levels are dealing with. We don't know what happened when the person before the current Dara CEO came on board. What did the other people have in mind? What did they set in play? What did they talk about when they changed hands? What was the game plan, the five-year plan, 10-year plan, 20-year plan? What was the plan? What is the trajectory of where the company needs to go to be to be profitable. Yes, Uber has been with the World Economic Forum since 2018, as far as I know, maybe even in, since its inception. There are powerful people in the world. There are really powerful. Travis Kalanick, I don't know who he is exactly, his connections, who he knows, but there are things that I'm sure he put in place as he handed the baton to Dara, just like our president. We have Joe Biden, U.S. president. I'm sure that the baton was handed to him. There were already things in place. So he has this certain persona, that this certain perception that people think about him. But what can he do when the ball is already, the bar has already been set? You either go here or something going to happen to you. Here or you're going to be eliminated. I want to vote you out by whatever process they go through. Ball is in set in place. Labor not to be rich. God can make you rich. That's what his will is for you. Honestly, you can become rich and I hope you are able to do that in the name of Jesus. So I'll share a video here in just a moment because I believe in Bible prophecy. There are many videos that I watch and talk about the truth in Bible prophecy. There's a video that just exposed, like Uber, a part of the World Economic Fam Forum. And in 2024, there was a video that came out where the opening ceremonies, one of them, it shows how witchcraft was being performed, how a witch doctor came in and cast a spell on the leaders of the World Economic Forum just this year. It happened when? January? And uh, Uber being a part of that, it shows them blowing on the people, announcing a spell upon them. I would not want to be a part of any company like that or group of people that participate in witchcraft. So, now that I know that that is happening, sign. No turn on red. They got a new sign at this intersection. 
I understand more and more as I look into Uber, them being part of the World Economic Forum, the decisions that the CEO makes based on Satanism, devilism, witchcraft. That's what we're dealing with. As Christians, we know this is not a war against flesh and blood, but against principalities, rulers of darkness in this present world, wickedness in high places. So, even with the movies that some people watch, even Hollywood, entertainment, music, those people tell you they sold their soul to Satan. So, I stopped listening to that stuff. I stopped watching the movies which with, with witchcraft in it. These people will come out more and more and tell us that yes, even some Christian movies like Noah, there's a song about Mary that people think, I think the Paul McCartney sings it about Mary. It's about witchcraft. It's not about Mary, the Christian, Mary, the mother of Jesus. It's about his dead mother coming to talk to him. But people, we need to wake up and see the spiritual battle that's going on. A lot of it dealing with witchcraft, Satanism. And I hope and pray that you're able to be smart and wise. When you see stuff going on, be able to boil it down, not look at the surface and say, wow, we're in a spiritual battle. And just pray that God will give you the safety you need. As you go and gig it, whether you're 1099, whether you are W-2, even retired, whatever you're doing in your life, pray that it is honest, God will lead you, and that you will be able to win various situations you come against because yes spiritual wickedness in high places you all remember that hope you're able to read the bible the bible's not about magic tricks it's not about praying to satan not praying to a god who does not exist some people are into egypt the religion of egypt but if you go back to the hieroglyphics and different things there's proof that God exists. There's proof that the ten plagues that hit Egypt actually really did happen. There's proof there. You cannot deny. No one can deny history. Biographies, autobiographies. Nobody can deny the accuracy which with, with which the Bible projects and tells different stories. So I hope and pray you will be wise this day. I'm going to try to share a little video clip here in just a moment of the World Economic Forum. And I hope your eyes will be open as you deal with the problems with Uber. Maybe eventually Lyft, DoorDash. I know Instacart is part of the World Economic Forum. UPS, Amazon. So if you boil it down in light of the Bible and the way it talks about people, and human behavior, the battle against good and evil, you will see the real results of what's happening. I'm gonna pause this video, I'm gonna make this delivery, and I'll try to upload the other one here. An evil spirit was summoned last month in the World Economic Forum meeting to bless our world leaders. And they are pushing new world order louder than ever. What did the anti-terrorism police found outside the meeting at Davos? Signs of the times are here, friends. And welcome to Truth in Bible Prophecy Media. Kindly like and share this video to all. What is the real spirit? behind the World Economic Forum. During a demonic incantation ceremony at the World Economic Forum, a witch doctor breathed upon the heads of world leaders. Witchcraft was on full display last month at the World Economic Forum as a witch doctor used demon incantations to guide attendees into the spirit world. After the spirits were invoked, a witch breath upon the panel at the WEF imparting a demonic spirit.
Economic Forum, ENN January 2024. In an unprecedented moment at the renowned WEF in Davos, an unusual spectacle unfolded as a traditional witch doctor took center stage, performing incantations and engaging attendees in a spiritual experience distinct from the forum's typical business and political undertakings. This is pure witchcraft, a witch breath and unholy spirit on them. The WEF is giving spiritualism a global platform to be highlighted and celebrated. These are demon-possessed globalists who want to rule the world. Students of prophecy are aware of this union of all peoples and religious backgrounds, including Catholicism and apostate Protestantism. Sunday sacredness and communication with the spirit world will 